Wharfdale's diamond range has been somewhat of a mainstay in British hi-fi since the first range was launched in 1981. Here we have just one of the six strong 12th series, the Diamond 220s, the successor to last year's excellent Diamond 121s. Ahead of our full review, we decided to take a look at the main differences between the two and the improvements that you should be listening out for. First up is the cabinet and the cabinet construction. Taking cues from Wharfdale's upmarket Jade range, the Diamond 200 series features a sandwich cabinet design, combining particle board between two layers of MDF, aiming to reduce resonance and the audibility of it. The smooth MDF outer layer should also allow for a superior finish to the cabinet veneers, compared to the principally chipboard cabinets of their predecessors, which we found could cause a variable finish. Their look is further enhanced by a new lacquered front baffle, which provides a high gloss finish compared to the painted baffle of the 121s. Sonically, Wharfdale tells us there hasn't been any huge overhaul, although that doesn't mean there haven't been enhancements. For example, the crossover networks have been refined to improve integration between the drivers, and the base motor system now features large magnets to make the speakers more powerful and easier to drive. Perhaps biggest though is the consideration of how speakers like these are most likely to be used. With a relatively low cost, there's a good chance they're going to be placed in small to average size rooms, so the ability to place them as close as possible to a wall is important. This has been taken into account, with a recommended minimum of just 50mm to the rear wall, much less than many of their competitors. This is aided by the slot-loaded distributed port, again taken from research into the Jade series, which uses a gap between the plinth and the port exit at the base of the cabinet. This, among other things, aids air control, reducing low frequency distortion. Perhaps the best news in all of this is that Wharfdale has been able to reduce the price of the Diamond 220s compared to last year. Whereas the 121s were priced at £230, these will come in at just a fraction under £200. After how much we like the Diamond 121s, we're really looking forward to giving these a listen. Keep your eyes on whatHiFi.com for our full review very soon, and in the meantime you can leave us a comment below with any questions, or click subscribe to see more videos from the world of Hi-Fi and home entertainment. If you want to get in touch, we're available via all the social media channels. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or add us on Google+.